thousands of people lived in the crooks and hollows of Kentucky's mountains. Without newspapers, telephones, or radios, they were almost totally isolated from the outside world. Since there were no paved or even gravel roads, the only way in was by foot, horse, or mule. In 1930, a flooded Ohio River, diminishing need for coal, and the Great Depression led to extreme poverty in the state of Kentucky. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was searching for new ways of assisting the American people. In 1933, he created the New Deal Relief Program, which led to the Works Progress Administration two years later. These programs rejuvenated education, the workforce, and public services. However, many projects were seen as men's work. What jobs were there to employ women? First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt stepped up to advocate for women's employment. Little did she know, Elizabeth Fullerton was also advocating for women and proposed a library extension program called the Pack Horse Library Project. Librarians would deliver books and magazines to mountain families and remote schools on horseback. After all, about 63% of the residents of Kentucky were without access to public libraries. The horses and librarians would promote literacy and community through neighbors helping neighbors. These librarians, most of whom were young, working mothers, were brave, determined, and dedicated members of the communities they served. The life of a pack horse librarian was challenging. They were paid a mere $28 per month, all of the reading materials were donated, and they paid for the rental of their own horses, traveling over 100 miles per week in all types of weather. While many community members looked forward to a visit, not all were literate, able to read and write. Therefore, part of the librarian's job was to promote literacy through read-alouds. As the project continued, the demand for books and magazines grew. Librarians traveled beyond the southeastern counties of Kentucky. By 1937, over 60,000 books were circulated each month. More than 26,000 families were served, and over 155 public schools were visited. It was estimated over half the state was served by the Pack Horse Library project. The demand always exceeded the supply. Books for women and children were popular, as well as many magazine titles. What types of magazines or books would you request? Would you donate books to help expand the efforts? By the project's conclusion in 1943, Almost 1,000 Pack Horse librarians had served 1.5 million patrons in 48 Kentucky counties. However, nothing would replace the role of the Pack Horse librarians in eastern Kentucky until 1957, when bookmobiles became more common. To learn more, check out That Book Woman or Down Cut Shin Creek at your local library.